going on phone fam it's your boy not enough and today we are going to review the big 503 let's get into it Right, guys pretty straightforward we have our two pieces of tape that we're gonna go ahead and slit and the contents of this box come out like a tray all right guys as with all your big power electric blasters you get your 100 foam bullets as they call them standard x-shot excel-esque style traditional length foam dart with a domed bullet style tip i cover these darts and their ballistics extensively in my 505 video which was the very first big power electric blaster we did here on not enough nerf check that video out if you want more information on these same with these targets these are modular targets that you can set manually they interconnect so if you have a lot more more big power electric blasters you can connect these targets make for a fun time at the range got your dual drum assembly which we're gonna get into here in a second radical red cool goggles as they call them with an elastic band to fit all head sizes you got your pamphlet pretty much covers all the US distribution of these blasters you got your color manual pivot screw for attaching these two center sections more on that later and an ox king power which I seem to see these on the 503 and the 527 variety of double drum blasters the 509 single drum blaster seems to have the same batteries as our blue variety of big power electrics what do you say we get this blaster together all right guys for this section you're going to want to take one of the two included screws they send you a spare which is really nice of them and we're going to use this to assemble this center component now there's an electrical component here that you have to connect and then there's a mechanical component so this connection is pretty straightforward you got a micro st connector here in which you got to align the tabs connect it and then you're going to go ahead and insert this section here in this pivot area here and then close this protective housing here and then this is when you're going to insert your center screw and drive it home with a bit and make sure you have a handle on this one this one you can't just use the bit because the screw is kind of like creating brand new threads into that plastic receiver on the other end make sure that it locks nicely and then you can use this switch here to depress the front assembly forward in order to install your drum set now this drum set only comes on in one direction these tabs here indicate the bottom of the drum and they're gonna go accommodated here in these inserts the best way to do it is kind of just sit the drum back evenly like that and then lock it into place battery installation is quite simple you have your single phillips screw here on this trap door now careful because as i stated before this screw will come out does not have a circlip holding it in and then you want to go ahead and insert your six double a batteries batteries already laying around which i was able to use didn't feel like opening the package on this one in case we end up giving this blaster away at some point in the future now this is a switch on rev switch this is not the rev trigger style blaster this is more of the switch on switch off style blaster you may have seen some busby or dart zone or adventure force blasters all of the above in this configuration it's nothing new to the hobby what do you guys say we go to the mini range and see how she shoots let's get it guys all right guys for testing purposes we're going to be using the adventure force waffle darts easier to track also on camera so we're going to go ahead and get a 10 round group on the top target center target over there and then we're going to do a crony test just to check what kind of speeds we're getting let's get right into it guys all right couple of outliers and now we're gonna check out the chrono let's see if we can get 10 chrono readings if there's any that bounce around inside the chrono tube i'll go ahead and just cut those out so we can get some averages let's get it All right, guys, that about wraps up our chrono readings. Let's get back to our closing statement. The Big Power 503 has better shot consistency than the 527, which can be attributed to less barrel drag. I personally did not experience any problems with this blaster, but BPE seems to have a few quality issues with these white models. They just feel rushed. The problems are minor and can be fixed fairly easily, but I would recommend either getting these on discount or waiting for BPE to correct the issues. 
Overall, it's not a bad blaster, but it just needs a little fine tuning to have my 100% purchase recommendation. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and possibly subscribe if you're up for it. We'd love to have you in our community. I already got to get back to working on the next project. So until next time, stay blasting, foam fam.